terrible. The U.S. trade deficit continues to balloon. Oh, um, we are sadly, really, uh, exporting much less than we are importing. What else would you expect here in a free fall economy um, where the Fed itself admits our economy is slowing, the CPI data confirms this, we all know it, but you know, we're supposed to be in a big boom right now, and that's why the Fed is going to maintain emergency monetary policy, you know, quantitative easing, let's go, 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 and that's exactly what's going to happen today, period, the freaking as a freak show. On an epic scale. On an epic scale. Anyway, so this morning, stock futures are slightly higher. Okay, that's lovely. Pointing towards uh, a higher open for the market, but we'll see where that Sarah, goes. Sarah, how many enemies can you handle here in the right now if they attack you? When the you. Fed makes their announcement at 2 p.m. Eastern Bye. Standard Time. So be ready for that. And I'm going to uh, be in my chat room. On my the, website, uh, traderschoice.net, we doing a little blow-by-blow. Blow. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, they were just... So I, 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 I despise the, Discord. the Federal Reserve. No, no it's because... Oh, on Discord? Line, and I can't stand listening to Fed yeah, Chair thing, uh, Powell, who's going to lie and lie and lie. Are there good weapons there? Watch, watch how he responds today when he takes questions. These yes. are mostly scripted. He looks down and reads the answer. Again, nothing is what it seems in this environment. Okay, let's move forward. Ten-year yield Take did come up. Okay, this is where we want to be. We got crude oil getting a bit higher, but the dollar right now is catching a bit. So not a great setup for the market so far uh, in this pre-market zone, which we're in right now. What else is happening? Cryptocurrency is getting a bit higher across the board. Bitcoin back over 40,000. No surprise to you. What else is happening? Gold is uh, slightly lower. Silver is catching a bid. Okay, just lovely. There's no price discovery mechanism there. They're going to play their game, people. They're going to play their game with precious metals via the derivative. You know that. There's no nothing real about the price action of precious metals in this environment it's absolutely rigged to the, the downside as a matter of fact it's an inverse bubble. aggressive it's an inverse bubble and that will normalize at one point they're coming for us it's a beautiful thing for you to make we're just going to keep okay. doing what we do and that is bet against the debt become your own central bank in other words hold hard assets build a vault stuffed full of hard assets, uh, physical gold, more importantly, physical silver. Physical silver, physical silver, people. Like I've said recently, if you got to hold one asset recently, I've been saying this for years, one asset, it's physical silver, period. And now let's talk a little more here about what we can expect and how this market more than likely is going to play out. I, like I said, I expect some volatility after the announcement here, which means the market's going to be wild. Uh, after the Fed announcement, but probably more so in the post session. Uh, okay, we see I think we're ready. It's going to be more of the same. Our economy is improving at a moderate pace, which it is not. Our GDP ratio continues to balloon. Our debts and deficits are skyrocketing. There is no recovery whatsoever, and I do fully expect 15 seconds. the shutdown of the economy, or at least parts of the economy. One, two points, shut this down uh, so they can again allow central banks to finish what they started decades, many decades ago to be lenders and buyers of last resort. They are the government. The rest of it is just a smoke screen. Just something for people to look up to and say, oh, I wish this person was president. Oh, I wish that representative would this. They don't represent it. They represent the corporate agenda and they have no say so. The banks. Whoever controls the cash controls the world. All right. And that is the central banks who dictate pretty much everything. And I think that you really know that. Uh, again, like I said yesterday, um, I did read the comments, and they're kind of interesting. I asked, how many of you believe uh, that the Federal Reserve chairperson is going to be dragged in front of a congressional committee and asked why? And asked why. Uh, he's not maintaining his mandate, but price stability won't happen. 
and most of you tend, tend to agree with me on that, uh, we will see much more inflation, period, the end, and it is widespread, despite the fact that the thing today that's going to speak to you, Powell, is trying to convince you um, that it is contained. It is not contained. Uh, and the IMF backs that up as well. Their second warning yesterday about inflation not being transitory, and it will persist. Not only will, will it persist, it will get worse here. As, again, the debt-to-GDP ratio here in the United States more inflation, period, the end, and it is widespread, despite the fact that the thing today that's going to speak, Jay Powell, is trying to convince you um, that it is contained. It is not contained. Uh, and the IMF backs that up as well. Their second warning yesterday about inflation not being transitory, and it will persist. Not only will it, will it persist, it will get worse here. As, again, the debt-to-GDP ratio here in the United States explodes as the Fed continues to buy debt through the one door. <laughs> you, um, that it is contained. It is not contained. Uh, and the IMF backs that up as well. Their second warning yesterday about inflation not being transitory, and it will... The fact that the thing today that's going to speak, Jay Powell, is trying to convince you um, that it is contained. It is not contained. Uh, and the IMF backs that up as well. Their second warning yesterday about inflation not being transitory, and it will persist. Not only will, will it persist, it will get worse here. As, again, the debt-to-GDP ratio here in the United States explodes as the Fed continues to buy debt through one door, Issue debt through one door, buy it back through another door. Um, this mechanism, I don't think people realize how massively inflation is. You're just starting to see the effects of it Did now. You see a ship? It's not going to stop. The Fed is going to ask for patience, okay? They're looking for any mechanism possible, okay? And they're going to create them as we go along here to continue to inflate, to continue to move goalposts, okay? You're going to hear a lot of talk about tapering. A lot of talk about lift off or whacking off, as I always say, uh, about you know cutting back on purchases. There's no intention whatsoever in the Federal Reserve to do this. They're going. They're looking for any mechanism possible, okay, and they're going to create them as we go along here, to continue to inflate, to continue to move. Goal posts, okay, you're going to hear a lot of talk about tapering, a lot of talk about lift off or whacking off, as I always say, uh, about, you know, cutting back on purchases. There's no intention whatsoever in the Federal Reserve to do this. Their goal is to hyper inflate their balance sheet, which will push the stock market higher. Fuck, now. if I had 4K, I would like have solved that earlier. shit. If this market drops uh, after the Fed announcement, I'm going to be jumping in here and buying that dip. Okay. If the market decides to go higher because it loves what Jay Powell said, all the market wants to hear is more, more easy money is going to pour in here. And with a pending, pending second shutdown of the global economy here, the Fed is going to have to buy more. You know that. I've been telling you this for a long time. The Fed's going to buy more. It's going to increase asset purchases. That's the big secret you're not supposed to know. There will be no tapering. No cutting back on asset purchase. The Fed will be increasing. That's the secret you're not supposed to know. With debts exploding, deficits exploding, debt to GDP ratio exploding, the Federal Reserve's balance sheet exploding, an economy in collapse. Wherever you look, the economy is in free fall. Okay, so what does that mean? The Fed must continue what they're doing and is looking for every reason and will create them increase asset purchases like i always tell you people nothing nothing is what it seems to be and nothing nothing is by accident right. this guy here loves you a lot actually on top of all this as always to me and i believe this to you are the most 
educated person out there with regard to the ins and outs of this market. If you And with the pending, pending second shutdown of the global economy here, the Fed is going to have to buy more. You know that. I've been telling you this for a long time. The Fed's going to buy more. It's going to increase asset purchases. Pending, pending second shutdown of the global economy here, the Fed is going to have to buy more. You know that. I've been telling you this for the longest time. The Fed's going to buy more. It's going to increase asset purchases. That's the big secret you're not supposed to know. There will be no tapering, no cutting back on asset purchases. The Fed will be increasing. That's the secret you're not supposed to know. With debts exploding, deficits exploding. Debt to GDP ratio exploding. The Federal Reserve's balance sheet exploding. An economy in collapse. Wherever you look, the economy is in free fall. Okay, so what does that mean? The Fed must continue with the game and is looking for every reason to create them. Increase asset purchases. Like I always tell you people, nothing, nothing is what it seems to be. And nothing. This guy here loves you a lot. I'll keep you on top of all this, as always.